Hello, my friends. It's Danny and Katie and Jax, and we are back with a 2019 Trader Joe's holiday taste test video. So Jax and Katie and I went to Trader Joe's and we all chose some fun, fun holiday seasonal treats that they had and we thought we'd come on the channel and try them here with you. Now, just for the record, these are not all clean by any means. They're just fun holiday treats. I do try to work some um, healthy options into the mix just to show that you can balance out the holidays. But overall, this is just meant to be fun and to taste some really yummy foods. So without any further ado, Jax, you get to pick what we're going to try first. First pick. I'm going to choose a peppermint bark popcorn. So what it is, it's um, a caramel popcorn coated in cho dark chocolate and enrobed in white chocolate and peppermint candy coating. Enrobed in a white chocolate and peppermint candy coating. Okay, so this is a super cute bag. It's got a little uh, a, reindeer. It's like a, yeah, a reindeer. Okay. It's, it's like Rudolph, I think, because yeah. it has a red nose. Red nose. Um, and, um, it and it's raining popcorn, or snowing popcorn. Let me show the bag here. And uh, let's see, I'm looking at the ingredients here. It's white chocolate, caramel popcorn, dark chocolate, lots of, lots and lots of things in there. So this is definitely a fun food. Okay, so we're all gonna try one, and then we'll give our opinions here. Ooh, Ooh. they smell. Like peppermint. Like wow. peppermint. Like candy cane. Ooh. It's like a candy cane. And all, you know okay. what it reminds me of? What? Popcorn. A tooth. <laughs> yes. It looks like a tooth. It's like, Cheers. I don't wanna say I don't wanna eat it because it looks like a tooth, but mm -hmm. it's like, three, two, one. Whoa, mm. that was surprisingly delicious. Mm. Whoa, I was not excited about this at all. Mm. I've changed my mind, I'm now excited. Whoa, that is, oh my God, Ben, you wanna try one? Yeah, give me one. Oh my God. Mm. That is so good. All right, good. So it's like minty. Go ahead. Whoever made these, you're really smart. Whoever made this are very smart. It's like minty. Yeah. But like creamy and a little chocolatey yeah. with a little crunch in the center. I'm the digging it. The thing I don't really like that is that it's kind of salty. Oh, is it salty to you? Can yeah. Another one? Interesting. Yeah. So I say if you are looking for a fun holiday food, this yeah. one definitely gets in my book. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Me too. Thumbs up. Okay. Thumbs up. I could see like if you were having people over, like this would be fun just to like have in a dish to pop one or two. It's fun, festive, and rather delicious. So Katie, what would you like to have? So I think that I'm going to go with the ginger snowball cookies. So these are buttery cookies studded with ginger and rolled in powdered sugar. Now, just for the record, I actually chose this one at the grocery yes. store. This was a Danny choice. I have a vision for what I think this cookie is going to be, and I'm excited. So I hope it lives Me up to too. my expectations. What about Me you? Me too. We all like ginger, right? Yeah. You guys like ginger. You know, yeah, gin we, have two, oh. we have two gingerbread houses right there. Yeah, you're right. What's it? What what uh, what does it remind you of? It kind of reminds me of those lemon cookies from like Girl Scout Apples. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, what are they called? The Dosey Dose? That's, no. what, I, that's no. what I'm thinking. That was, that's what I was thinking of. Okay. Okay, so let's get right to it. Okay, so just just for anybody who's curious, these are not gluten free. Um, you know what? Let's not even do this. We're not even gonna pretend that we're eating these for health reasons. Like, let's be honest here. Okay. Oh, they're much smaller than I thought they would be. Let's wow. get it. Let me. Much very let's put this powdery. I, these are much Look powdery. how small. Can you see how little these are? Much smaller than I thought. Okay. Cheers oh, and cheers. I smell ginger in it. That's what cheers. I'm kind of scared about. Three. Okay. I smell better. Mm. Oh. Mm. <laughs> okay. Mm. 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 Um, it definitely doesn't taste like ginger bread. No, it doesn't taste like gingerbread, but there definitely tastes ginger. It has little pieces, what it looks like. It looks like it has little pieces of candied ginger inside the cookie. See that little dot right there? Yes. Okay. Um, I like it. It didn't quite live up to my vision. I thought it was going to be like, like a buttery, crumbly cookie. Same. It's a little hard. Um, you definitely get the ginger flavor. I like the layer of powdered sugar on the outside. Mm. Um, still give it a thumbs up. I know that might not sound like the most convincing thumbs up, but I really would still give it a thumbs up. What about you guys? I don't give it a thumbs to the side. So. Thumbs to the side? Okay. Hmm. One thumbs up, two to the side. Hmm. It's growing on me. <laughs> Okay, so in an effort to balance out all of the yummy treats, I picked up a 
pack of golden berries, also known as gooseberries. Sunberries? Sun, sunberries. I don't think they're called sunberries. So we've been buying these a lot lately. I always buy them. Yeah. I've been seeing them at Trader Joe's. Um, it's kind of like a tropical, tangy, sweet uh, fruit oh. that is very sour. Go ahead. She calls it Nature Sour Patch Kids. Yes, I always tell the kids these are Nature Sour Patch Kids because they give you that same experience when you eat them. So we have all tried these before. Yes. They're oh, delicious. Oh, you like them? I recommend you all try one. All right, let's try them one at a time. Let's see each person's reaction. You go first, Jax. Put your hands away from your face. It definitely is a little sour. But I sometimes get that tomato taste in it. He doesn't like tomatoes. I do not. Because it has like a little cherry tomato. It does have seeds in the middle. May I? May I? Mm -hmm. Woo! It is tart. There's this really bright pop that comes when you bite into it. and has these little seeds in the middle. It would actually be really nice served with like a, a cheese, like if you put it on a cheese plate, because it would balance out really well, like a brie or something really rich and creamy. Go, Kat, let's see what you think. Mm -hmm. Katie's not looking forward to it. You don't like them? Nope. Well, gotta try it. <laughs> Describe, give us your thoughts. It really does do that. It's, it, it gives you that Sour Patch Kid experience where you're like, right, head up, head up. I didn't really get that. No, I I don't know. Woo! Not your favorite. I'm not doing that here. <laughs> I'm sure you're saying. Three, two, one. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, all, all opinions aside here, if you were making some type of um, fruit plate or a cheese plate during the holidays. Oh, we put um, gooseberries. <laughs> Um, gooseberries on it. It really would be a nice way to work a seasonal food onto the platter and uh, I would be also tempted to say that it's also something that a lot of your guests will not have tried before. So that's also a fun way. It's like a fun conversation piece. It's fun to get people trying new foods. So I personally am a big fan. Okay, and we're going to circle it back around, Jax. Your pick. I want to try those dark chocolate stars. All right. Ooh. So me. just as a side note, um, when we were going shopping for this video, I went on Instagram to see if there were anything you all had tried and recommended that we absolutely taste. And these dark, you know, let's show the box. These dark chocolate stars, um, I had several people say we had to try these. So these are dark chocolate covered shortbread cookies. We're gonna be opening it. There we go. Okay. Oh, they're little. They're really small. They're like little ninja See, Trader Joe's is looking out for us. Little, just little bite size. Ready? Hmm. Let me see. Everyone hold them up. Everybody hold it up. So they're cute little dark chocolate covered stars and they have these little white sprinkles on them. Right? Go ahead, buddy. You're going to give it a try? Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. It looks like a pretzel. I totally agree. I feel like this is more of a cookie. Interesting. So Jackson, I feel like it tastes... Yes. Go ahead. Can I get some milk to dip this in? I don't think we have oh. any. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, come on. We got so, some almond milk. Mm -hmm. It has a texture of a cookie. Mm -hmm. but it tastes like a chocolate covered pretzel. I kind of agree. It's very thin. Can you see that, babe? It's very thin. Again, you know, I don't know if it's just me, but it's like I have visions for what I want all these foods to taste like. So in my mind, I want this to be a little bit more buttery and crumbly. That's what I want from the cookie. I think the coating and the sprinkle is perfect. But I personally would like the, the cookie to be a little more buttery and crumbly. It's kind of more like a thin cracker type of cookie. And right? Um, I personally prefer thicker cookies. Thicker. Something more buttery, mm -hmm. a little more rich. Yeah. High and five, girl. What I really like about this. <laughs> but that won't stop us from having another one. <laughs> what I really like about these is I feel like the dark chocolate doesn't really taste so much like a dark chocolate. Because you don't like super dark yeah. chocolate when it gets bitter. Yeah, it's so bitter. Don't talk with the food in your mouth, right? Like, chuk, chuk, chuk. Process. Um, Smile. Um, chew. <laughs> um, so, I don't really like how it's like bitter. I, I'm more of a milk chocolate guy. It's not too sweet, not too bitter. <laughs> but overall, what would you say about this bag? I give a big thumbs up. All right, so let's give our let's give our ratings here. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go thumbs up. I mean, it's certainly nothing to to sneeze at. Cheers. Thumbs up. Star up. 
Get your stars up. So, Katie, what would you like to choose? I think that I'm going to go with the chocolate hummus. Now, just a quick side note, I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't know if this is a seasonal thing or if it's there all the time. I personally just haven't seen it before. So we said, let's try it, right? All right. Well, some of the ingredients in the chocolate hummus are cooked chickpeas, cane sugar, water, cocoa processed with baking soda. Expeller pressed canola oil. That's actually, if you're gonna have canola oil, the kind of canola oil you wanna look okay. for. Sea tahini. Salt, tahini. Okay, um, natural sesame flavor. Seeds, natural flavor, and nasini. Nisin, nisin. It's a mold inhibitor. Okay, let's see what's inside. Now we're gonna open it and we're all gonna take a giant. So it looks like this rich, <laughs> it looks like this rich, dark chocolate. And let's all taste it first and then we'll give our thoughts. Well, I'm in the middle. They all gonna taste the same. Okay. Three, two, one. Smells like chocolate. Taste. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know what I've tasted. I've, I've tasted this before. Yeah, you have. No, but not like. I know. I'll tell you how you tasted it. All right. So here's my thoughts. What? Well, what are your thoughts? I feel like you're not enjoying it. This would be so much better on something like this peppermint popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back in a second. Just on something. It's right there, buddy. They're right by the camera. By itself, I feel yeah. like it's just like so plain. It's just I agree. I mean, it does taste chocolatey, but you can tell that it's a little chickpea action. Here, come in the shot. Yes, there's a little chickpea action. Um, I agree. It's chocolatey and it's creamy and it's nice, but you can tell that there's like a little bean underlying there. Mm -hmm. right. Open it. Open it. Here. Jax really wants to try it on one of these peppermint bark balls, popcorn balls. Um, what I, I've seen this done a couple different ways. So personally, I would not put this out at a party like with a bunch of things to dip in it. I would make bite-sized things for the guests. So what I would do. All right, let's see what you think about that. Now I'm gonna like push it under, let oh it soak it in. So you see, I'm gonna do this. Okay, okay. Then I'm gonna Take it out. <laughs> Jax, don't put that all in your mouth. Take this. Oh. Okay. Here. Okay. You chew. I want to talk for one minute, okay? Yeah. Okay. So what I would do with this is I'd either, like, maybe get some pretzel flats and put a scoop, like a little scoop on each pretzel with maybe a little sprinkle if you wanted to make it look festive. So someone just picks up one or two rather than, like, you're going back and dipping over and over again. The other thing I've seen people do with this, and I think this was a great idea, we saw somebody, they took phyllo dough, put it in mini muffin cups, mm -hmm. okay? Then she filled it with the chocolate hummus and put a little whipped cream over the top. So you thought you were getting like a little chocolate cream pie, but it was really just a little dollop of hummus in there. And it was super satisfying. I really like that with the whipped cream, yeah. right? So I think this would be a fun one to definitely, you could do some really fun things with this chocolate hummus. I'm going thumbs up. Thumbs up. You're sideways. Tell it like it is, girl. Give your true feelings. If it's by itself, no. No, I can't. Okay. For me, it's just like thumbs down. Oh, oh. she went all the way down. Oh. Stop it. <laughs> okay. So, Mom, what do you think you're going to pick? I am going to try the Greek whole milk eggnog yogurt. We actually bought this to try last year and we forgot to take it out of the fridge. So we have yet to try it. I never tried it. So Jax, are you getting us some spoons? Okay, so this is a Greek whole milk yogurt eggnog naturally flavored. So let's just give it a go. I personally love eggnog. I, kind Woo. Of. Whoa. Whoa. It's a yellowish brownish. I think that. Oh my God, it's watery. Wow. I think we should mix it around okay. first. Yeah, I'm going to give it a mix. Wow, it definitely looks eggy. It definitely looks delicious. Go ahead, everybody, take a dip. Oopsies. Oh, well. I did eat that part. All right, let's see. Looks like, yeah, like custard. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. I don't know why, but I feel like it's a little sour. It's very tart, mm -hmm. but it's also very sweet. Um, you do get the eggnog flavor, but it definitely has a tart sweet combo going on. But I do taste the eggnog for sure. I like the mm. aftertaste. It tastes like cake batter. I don't know. For me it's like fun for a bite, but I probably wouldn't I probably wouldn't buy it. 
Would you? Yeah, yeah you would. Yeah, Kila, this guy yogurt. likes anything with dairy, <laughs> right? Yeah. He loves yogurt. Except mostly milk. So you like, let's see, can I see how much sugar is in there? I'm just curious. Um, there is more, uh, um, 15, 15 grams. grams. Okay. That's what, about what I would expect. Okay. Definitely a fun holiday yogurt. If you, if you usually buy yogurt and you keep, if, especially if you buy fruit flavored yogurt, which I actually tend not to do and don't recommend on a regular basis, but. He does. I do not. Sometimes. No. Oh, we have mango yogurt in the fridge. Right, because yesterday you begged for them, and so we did buy them. So, you know, like there's I'm sure exceptions all to all rules, my friends. But we never begged. You just put it in the cart. Start, start. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's next? You better keep that in the video, Dad. <laughs> all right, moving right along, we are back over to this kind gentleman. What would you like to try? Can I please have a chocolate-covered pretzel twist? I had a feeling you were going to pick that one. <laughs> Chocolate covered pretzel twist assortment. This looks like it would be a good gift for somebody, right? Let's show them the box. So. Yeah, hold it up so Daddy can get a shot of it. It has 12 pretzels in the box. 160 calories. <coughs> Wait, um, it says. Oh, my voice just changed. Uh, including dark chocolate with peppermint candy chunks, dark chocolate with diced almonds, and a dark chocolate drizzle and milk chocolate with rainbow sprinkles. And now it's like one of those caps that you go like Ey! You do? Which one? Okay. So when you get this, let's show it in case people don't want to think about buying this. It has two trays inside of it and each tray has six pretzels on it. So let's open the tray so you can see. I think we should all start with the peppermint since it's more of the Christmas season. Well, we should break it up though. No, we don't I... only, yeah, try whichever one you want, Kay. I'm gonna go with these. Okay, oh, right, three, one. The two, one. one. Too loud. <laughs> mm. Oh, wow. Mmm. Mmm. That's lovely. I feel like it tastes like a normal pretzel. No, no, you don't taste the chocolate. I think it's delicious. It's a good chocolate. I'm going to try the milk chocolate. But it's a good, like, oh, chocolate milk? to pretzel, pretzel ratio, in my, in my opinion. Mmm, you like that one. Mm-hmm. Mm. The thing that makes a chocolate covered pretzel so good yeah. is this is that sweet salty combination. Right? What do you think, buddy? Um I like the milk one the most. The milk? Only because of chocolate. Um, all right, so what do you think, Kay? What do you can I really think the milk chocolate and the pretzel just goes perfectly together. Sprinkles. Good texture. Really, yeah, good texture. Can't really taste them, which I don't really want to, but Good. they're adorable for decoration and they have a good texture. Yeah, cheers. That's a really good one. <coughs> mm. All right. Yeah. So bottom line on the pretzels, thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Unanimous. And like I said before, I think this would also be a great gift if you were going like someone's party or something and you wanted to walk in and you didn't, want to, you didn't have time to make something. This would be a great like, huh, here's for you. Put it out. Everybody can enjoy. So there we have it, our 2019 holiday sampler taste test from Trader Joe's. I'm going to thank Katie for helping me out and Jack and Jack for his taste bud uh, expertise. And we, as always, are curious to know which of these have you tried before and or what other holiday items at Trader Joe's do you think we should buy? Have you tried that you think we need to try? So thanks so much for watching, guys. What do you want to let them know? Well, you want to let them know that they should subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell. If you guys enjoyed this video, please take a moment to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell and share it with anybody else you know who wants to make healthy eating easy. Easy. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees, and I'll see you back here soon with some more clean and deliciousness. And I'm Jax. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. This is basically... Eggnog made with almond milk. Yellow. Cheers. Do we get cheers? Cheers. She sheets. Cheers. I need the kitty. Okay. It smells like eggnog. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh. Can oh. I, can oh, I have gosh. my water? No. Can I please no. have my water, Katie? <laughs>